Hello, everyone, and welcome to another exciting edition of OWF Worldwide Wrestling. I'm your host, Broadcast Bob Anderson, and with me, as always, Whitey Jenkins. Hey, 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 what's going on, Bob? Back for another exciting week of Outlaw Wrestling action. We, too, yes. we made it. There's people that said, man, that new wrestling show, that ain't going to last one week. Well, joke's on them, Bobby, because week two, we are in the house. And this week we have not one, not two, but three huge matches on tap. Oh, my goodness. That's a lot of action, Bob. Yes, it is. First up, from New Baja Pro Wrestling in Chula Vista, California, we're going to see a Rudy Rodriguez take on an old friend of yours, I believe, the Silver Bullet. I helped train the Silver Bullet. He's a he's a salty old veteran. He knows all the tricks. Hell, he invented half the tricks. So Rudy Rodriguez is going to be in for a long night getting there with the Silver Bullet, I guarantee you. Rodriguez is a newcomer here to Outlaw Wrestling, but I do believe he has the fans behind him, so we'll see how far that can take him. Then, from there, we're going to go to Northern Canadian Wrestling League from Tuck Toyoktuk. In the Inuvik region of Canada's Northwestern Territories, you want to talk about worldwide? It doesn't get much more worldwide than that. Where we're going to see Kevin Hardy, version 4XL, take on mental patient Mikey. Man, that's, I mean, when, uh, when you see in wrestling action from TikTok Truck Canada, you know, that's, that is, uh, you're right, that is as worldwide as it gets, and of course, Kevin Hardy version 4XL is one of the most popular wrestlers up there. They love him. Of course, you know, mental patient Mikey, you know, he's, uh, well, it ain't, you know, I was going to say he's kind of crazy, but that's not PC. You can't say that anymore. He's, uh, what is it? Uh, mentally challenged or, uh, you know, touched by an uncle or whatever. But, uh, What's the third match? What's the main event today, Bob? It's a big one, Whitey. From the Australian Pro Wrestling Association in Broken Hill, New South Wales, Australia, we're going to see an eight-man, last-man-standing battle royal. And the winner of that match is going to receive a shot at the APWA Down Under television title currently held by Spike McGee. Now, let me hold You're blowing my mind here, Bobby. So, a couple weeks ago, if you tuned in to OWF action, if you was watching Sunday night's main event, you're seeing wrestling from Alabama. You're seeing wrestling from Mississippi. You might have saw a match here and there from Tennessee. Mm -hmm. But these people here tonight are going to see OWF Outlaw Wrestling Federation action from California, mm -hmm. then to Canada. Mm -hmm. And then all the way down unders to Australia, down there in Crocodile Dundee country, Bill Dundee country. Good Lord. <laughs> Tie your kangaroo down, Whitey. That is exactly what I'm telling you. I'm so excited. I'm getting choked up about it. That's crazy. I mean, I ain't never been to none of them places, but I'm fixing to get the call wrestling action from all of them. And then you're talking about an eight-man last-standing battle royal for the APWA Down Under Thunder Television Championship. So that means that's going to be on TV down there, too. They're going to get to hear Bobcast, Bobcast, Bob, Broadcast, Bob. <laughs> Why do you are tongue-tied, my friend. Yes, that is exactly what I'm telling that's you. That's just that ain't nothing, nothing in there that shouldn't be, okay? I just got tongue-tied. That's all. I'm not – I'm not uh, – I'm not inebriated uh, yet. That's 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 what the I used to just say drunk, but the cops always go, oh, "You're you're inebriated, sir." I'm like, "Hey, don't be talking that Spanish to me, you sob." I ain't. I'm, I, you speak, okay, speak let's American get to me, action, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right, we see referee Stoney Burke checking on Rudy Rodriguez to make sure he's not bringing any illegal objects into the ring. There's his opponent, the Silver Bullet, who's already been checked. We got two big men here. Whitey, tell us about it. 
Man, Silver Bullet, he's been around for quite a while. He's a veteran, if you will. Rudy Rodriguez, a newcomer to OWF and this here promotion and the new Baja Pro Wrestling in the Baja. Look at that. I tell you what, these fans knew they were getting a ticket to see some wrestling tonight, but they didn't realize that they were getting a ticket to the gun show with old Stoney Burke. Check him out there. Got the muscle tee on. Something for the ladies. And some of the fellows, if that's what they're into. Stoney Burke is definitely a handsome young man, Whitey. The girls all Stoney. flock out to see the referee, and the men all come to see these two massive men just beat the heck out of each other. Now, I got to ask you something, Whitey. I'm not familiar with the bullet. I see he's got the black gloves on. Is he the master of the Iron Claw? He is a master. He's not the master, but he is a master of the Iron Claw. He's also been known to have that glove loaded from time to time. Knock a fella out. Good Lord, I oh. didn't think Rudy could get him up. Kick his leg out of the way. Leg drop. I have another question for you, Whitey. Looking at Rudy Rodriguez's gear there, has he just finished his shift at the gas station? He barely made it in time because his second shift coverage did not show up when they were supposed to, and he was cussing them as he was going out the door, and he told them, hey, get them gum hot dogs on the spinners. We're running behind here. I got to go wrestle, and he made it just in just at bell time. He made it just in time to eat these two huge lariats from the bullet. Man. Rodriguez is down. Bullet our... selling that fan right there. Did you see that? Did you see that? He said, I'll do that to you, too. You no good blow down. And then Stoney said, hey, watch it, Power family show. All right, Rodriguez is back up. He's a tough hombre, but I guess when you work at the gas station all day, you're bound to be. Well, you're in a you're in a bad mood for sure. You know what? I mean, you, you sat there all day drinking Mountain Dews out of the fountain and eating bean burritos until you're just, you know, bloated, pissed off. And Oh, big and meat gut. Woo, look at that maneuver. Oh, speaking of guts. Pull it down, buddy. I guarantee you, Stony Burke's got at least one copy of Freedom Rock in his CD player. Right? <laughs> Most perhaps, perhaps cassette player, if we're being honest. Shades of Lance Queen Stone. Stone. Oh, Wait who are minute. these guys? What's happening here? That's, that's Billy Starr and Party Boy Chad, the Pacific Playboys. What are they doing? They weren't even on the card tonight. Bob, why, how are these? What are these guys even doing here? They weren't even supposed to be here tonight. Look at Party yeah, Boy Chad. I don't, what I don't even think they wrestle for this promotion. Uh, they don't. No, they're this calling must for be the some microphone. Kind of invasion. They're calling for the microphone. Maybe they want that OWF tag team title tournament. We need to get out of this. We don't want to hear what these guys. Promotional say. consideration paid for by the following. There's a cry across the heartland, a yearning for the days gone by. And in little old Corden, Indiana, they're happy and they'll tell you why. They got butt drugs, they love butt drugs. Ba -ba -ba butt drugs, ba -ba -ba butt drugs. I love butt drugs. I recommend butt drugs for everybody. I can always count on butt drugs. When I think drugs, I think butt drugs. For all my health needs, I turn to butt drugs. You want hometown service and cheap hot coffee and liquor. Now that's the ticket. You can tell Walmart, CVS, and Walgreens exactly where to stick it. Ba -ba -ba -butt drugs. We love butt drugs. Butt drugs won't let you down. Free parking in the rear. I love butt drugs. All right, we are back with a big match from the Northern Canadian Wrestling League in Tuck Toyok, Tuck Canada. That Bless is. You. <laughs> in the green, we have. Kevin Hardy version 4XL taking on mental patient Mikey. Um, I got to ask, Whitey, have you ever been to Tuck Toy Oc Tuck? Uh, no, I, I got a Chevrolet. I've never, I've never had a Toyota truck. Gotcha. All right, Kevin Hardy version 4XL, a big fan favorite up there in Canada. Well, you know, they, they love Matt Hardy up there. They love Kevin Steen up there. And this guy is their perfect wrestler because he is clearly a combination of those two famous wrestlers. 
Got his skull no, shirt on like he likes it, his green britches. I'm not familiar with mental patient Mikey. Um, he claims to have just escaped from an asylum. I, I, I don't know if I buy that story, but, you know, kayfabe, so let's go with it. This guy's definitely a deranged lunatic. Let's see if Kevin Hardy can handle him. I don't I don't know if you've ever uh, seen the movie UHF, but I got a feeling this is kind of one of those situations where somebody no-showed. That fellow was over there mopping the floor, and they were like, hey, man, you want to wrestle? And he's like, okay. And now here he is in the rain. That could well be the case. All right, let's see. We got another big, tight lockup here going back into the corner. I figure he could Goes drive the the He reverses it. And, uh, what, a, hmm. what a maneuver right there. Oh, Boom. big stiff one to the face. So he fell down, and then he stiffs him to make up for it. That's Backs him into the corner. Oh. Gracious. I think he might be a little mad that he fell, and he's going to just uh, – oh, never mind. Anyway, so hooks him I up. Mean, I think that was strategic, Bob. I think he, he wanted to make the guy get a false sense of security. Like, oh, he fell down. I got him. And then he pops back up and just nails him, you know. Trickery, if you will. Indeed. All right, he's lifting him up. Going for the ooh, snap mare. This. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, vicious elbows. Good lord. Referee might want to stop this one if he keeps that up. I don't those twelve to six elbows are illegal in MMA, but they are legal here in the Outlaw Wrestling Federation. How many referees have you seen with a long sleeve shirt on? That's an interesting look. Well, they are in Canada. Oh, oh he hits it into the lucky with that. That's it. OWF Worldwide Wrestling is brought to you by Goodwill, the official gear provider to OWF wrestlers. After last week's loss in the Triple Threat Tag Team match, the mysterious leader of the Masked Militia has fired Ultimo Militia and hired a replacement. Just who is their mysterious leader? Who is the replacement? Have to know? Call the hotline. Are the rumors true? Is Whitey Jenkins in negotiations to buy the all-female promotion known as Tremendous Women's Athletes Tussling? Need to know? Call the hotline. A top WWF superstar has defected to the OWF and will debut on Worldwide next week. Think we're clowning around? I assure you, we're not. Want to know who it is? Call the hotline. Is Delbert Jenkins debuting on NXT this week as the white hip-hop artist Deli J from around the way? Have to know? Call the hotline. Plus, the inside scoop on, all, on the upcoming tournament for the OWF Heavyweight Championship and whether or not Chuck the Truck will be included. All of this and so much more tonight only on the OWF hotline. That's 1-900-688-5297. That's 1-900-O-U-T-L-A-W-S. That's 1-900-OUTLAWS. All right, here comes Cannonball Casey Walker, our first entrant in this eight-man, last-man standing battle royal where the winner will get a shot at the Australian Pro Wrestling Association's Down Under Thunder Television Champion title. Wow. He's a big one. That's a big fella. He is a big fella. Oh, here. Now they're all just coming out at once. We don't really have time to introduce them. Uh, the guy there in the out. red, that is <laughs> Dewey Vuitton. Oh, there's Zafra Laponga. Goodness. Zafra Laponga looks like a creator wrestler off a video game they didn't finish. And right there is one of the favorites, Outback Zach. I'm a, I'm pulling for Outback Zach, of course. Oh, you know. there's, there is the Ripper, Max Conrad, again, who has apparently made his way to Australia. There's Divine Danny Adonis. Well. Very casual. Uh, not a lot of, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Energy? Energy, uh, you know, just we're just kind of casually strolling out here for a little battle roll, no big deal. We're all just here to have a good time. No need to get intense about it or anything. Last There's the man standing. Big money on that graphic, Whitey. Well, you know, producer Smokey's still learning all this. He's doing his best. 
Well, that's a big guy. That's a big guy over. Yes, he is. Oh, the two big men going right at it. Oh. Well, let's see if we can figure out who some of these other fellas are. That guy's got it figured out. He's going right for the elimination. We ain't gonna mess around. And then, good night. You're out of here. Bye. Oh, Max Conrad is eliminated right away. Wow. He must have had to get back to Appalachia. He probably did. He didn't have his manager out there with him. Ah, thing. that's it. Flew him all the way to Australia to job out of the Battle Royal in 18 seconds. Hey, getting paid. He's got it figured and out. True Man, enough. that dude, Divine's got them fuzzy berserker style boots on. I always cheer for somebody that's wearing those. Shiny gold tights. And, oh, is, wait, Zaffir Laponga on the ropes. And gone. Gone. Uh, he Strange to see a guy that size out of there that quickly. Yeah. But they were smart to team up on him. That was good strategies. Oh. Then the two guys who eliminated them are now fighting each other. Well, they were arguing over like, that one guy's like, I put him out. And he's like, No, I put him out. And he's like, You son of a. And there they go. They're in the oh, back sack still in it. So that is definitely. That's your pick. Now, let's see. Who else do we have in there? Oh, big, sharp elbow to the back of it. That is Dewey Spine. Vuitton that Zach is fighting. They're in the red and black trunks. We have Mikey Abs, and that is Furious Brian Toretto, the bald gentleman he's fighting. Well, and there's Divine jumping around like he's already won the thing, Adonis. Oh, it looks like he got rid of Cannonball. Oh, Man, they're dropping like flies now. I mean, somebody must have told them that they got to get out of the building in five minutes. Let's wrap it up. Furious Toretto going after that guy like he's not family. He is definitely furious. There's Outback. There you go. Hit him from behind, Outback, Zach. I'm going to put my money on Dewey Vuitton, I think. Well... It's good. It's as good a pick as anybody there. Clearly, you can see why uh, Mikey Abs got his name. Whoop! Wait a minute. Bye bye. Take it to the house, Mikey. You're out of here. I guess he can go work on those abs some more. Yeah, he probably should, if we're being honest. Uh, down to three. One of these men will get that shot at the Down Under Thunder Television Title. What a cool name for a title. I'd like to win that just to be able to brag and say, yeah, I'm a down under Thunder television champion, by God. Oh, big double elbow. Some teamwork going on here. Well, Zach and Dewey looking to get rid of Toretto to see if they can bring it down to just themselves. Okay, in, in history, that's never worked out, and it oh. still does not. There goes your pick out back, Zach. Uh -oh, oh, no, uh -oh. no, no, look at that. Furious Brian Toretto has won this thing. Should've He's going to get that shot at the Down Under Thunder Television Championship. His, uh oh, his daddy, wait. His daddy's the booker. Whoa. Who, who in the hell is the Nomad Damon? Smokey, what are you doing? Smokey watched it. Hey, everybody. OWF Wrestling returns to Dixonville. Coming up soon, it's going to be featuring Mile Fire Bobby Rich, Raw Dog Robbie Rogers, the OWF Hardcore Davis Champion. That's right. Too Tough Tammy. Going to be there throwing down. And you know bad boy Buck Spivey's going to be there. And everybody's favorite, the big man, Chuck the Truck Tan. At intermission, you can meet Commissioner Smokey. Hell, you can even get your picture made with broadcast Bob Anderson because he's going to be in the house. If you want to get your tickets, they're on sale right now at Mitch's 24-hour truck stop, urgent care, CBD store, pizzeria, arcade, and post office right there on the main drag in Dixonville. Don't. Miss it.